the physical science lesson video for section 17.1 and as always if you subscribe to my channel you'll have all my videos in one spot. So chapter 17 we're going to talk about mechanical waves and sound. So let's go ahead and get started. So mechanical waves, what is it? A mechanical wave is a disturbance in matter that carries energy from one place to another. Mechanical waves require matter to travel through. Later we'll learn about electromagnetic waves and they don't require matter. So mechanical waves have to travel through some form of matter, solid, liquid, or gas. The material through which a wave travels is called a medium. And a mechanical wave is created when a source of energy causes a vibration, vibration to travel through a medium. So like for example, waves in the ocean, your medium is water. Um, sound waves, the medium is air until it hits us in the eardrum, things like that. So the three main types of mechanical waves are transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and surface waves. A point on the wave vibrates up and down between a maximum and minimum height. So this is like a slinky. Okay, and so here is a transverse wave. So see we have a maximum and a minimum height of our transverse wave. A transverse wave is a wave that causes the medium to vibrate at right angles to the direction at which the wave travels. So it's really hard to look at this, so you gotta just pick one point. Okay, so if you look, the wave is clearly traveling this direction. See how I'm following the waves, like I can start with the waves. The wave is traveling this direction, but what are the particles doing? Well, let's just pick one, so I'm just gonna pick this one. If you look, all this particle is doing is going up and down, but the wave's traveling this way. So that's why it's at a right angle to each other. The wave's traveling in this direction, but the particles are just moving up and down. So the wave and the particles vibrate at right angles to each other. The highest point on the wave above the rest position is called the crest, and the lowest point below the rest position is called the trough. Okay, the rest position is just an imaginary line, kind of like the equator, that goes right between the middle of the wave. And so the highest point is the crest, the lowest point is the trough. A longitudinal wave is a wave in which the vibration of the medium is parallel to the direction that the wave travels. An area where particles in a medium are spaced close together is called a compression, and an area where particles in a medium are spread out is called a rarefaction. So here's a slinky example that's not moving, so it's easier for me to point out the compression and rarefaction. So you can see there's some areas where it's kind of spread out a little more, those are the rarefaction areas. And then there's some areas where it's kind of compressed, those are the compression areas. So let's look at those particles moving. So again, you can clearly see if I follow one of the compressions, our wave is traveling in this direction. And then let's just pick a particle. Here, I'll pick one at the top so it's easy for you to see. If you look, this one is just moving back and forth. So it's in the same direction as the wave. Okay, so the wave's traveling this way, the particles are traveling back and forth this way. So whereas transverse was at right angles, longitudinal is parallel, they're in the same direction. A surface wave is a wave that travels along a surface separating two media. The motion of the particles is in a circle. So this is where we would have like ocean waves. Okay, so again, if you look, here's the wave traveling. But if you watch the particles, especially this blue one. See this one, they give you a highlighted one. I wish my other pictures had that. If you watch, it's just moving in a circle. Like I can sit there and trace it as it's going. And it's just following that circle. And so it just moves in a circular pattern. Okay, so transverse is at right angles, longitudinal is parallel, and surface area is in a circle. So, boy, that section of assessment was fast. List the three main types of mechanical waves. Well, there's transverse, longitudinal, and surface waves. All right, transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and surface waves. For each type of wave, compare the vibration of the medium to the direction of the wave. Well, for transverse waves, the medium and the wave move at right angles one another. Right angles. For a longitudinal wave, the medium and the wave move at parallel to each other. And in a surface, the medium um, is traveling in the circles as the wave is passing by. Okay, so the medium travels in a circular pattern. Alright, so hopefully that gave you a little bit of introductory on the mechanical waves.